rush to get hundreds of teachers certified for the school year. Between 850 to 900 of them still waiting for their licenses as of Friday. Over the weekend, the school system telling seven on your side, 600 of them are in the process of getting them soon. A plan now being put in place for the rest. We'll have a closer look at the progress tonight at six. Of course, kids are heading back to school today in the city and DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live for us outside McFarland Middle School where city leaders have a plea for safety here, Sam. Well, yes, actually, Nancy, what they were, they were over on Georgia Avenue with signs basically telling drivers to slow down. The kids are back at school right here where I'm at now. We just had a ceremony where the mayor cut the ribbon for the new renovations here. They left just a few minutes ago to take a tour inside. At McFarland Middle, they practiced their new school song written by their music teacher in their newly renovated building. $63 million worth. First day of school around D.C. for most of the DCPS and charters as well. Charters have nearly half of D.C. students at Center City Public Charter learning the ropes. The principal said they're excited to be back. 10 months, 180 days, so 179 to go after today. Exciting first day as well at Ross Elementary. DCPS school where interim chancellor Amanda Alexander used to be principal. She came back today to greet the second graders and to look ahead to a busy year in which she is also in the running to be the next chancellor and makes no bones. She wants the job. Many of the successes that we've had, especially at the elementary level, um, I was a part of. And so I want to continue to be a part of DCPS's trajectory towards excellence. It's funny, too, you know, when I was in school, you were out in May and back in September. Right now, July is the only month that young people are not going to school. The mayor also announced here that she was uh, providing $8 million for various after-school programs for D.C. students. Reporting live from Northwest, I'm Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. All right, Sam, thank you. And